All right, so after my millionth try to make this perfect, we're just gonna make this imperfect because this is just how this whole process has been. So with the cabinets, we started off with the priming. We did two coats of the priming. And then when we got into the black, the good stuff, we had to do three coats of this to really get like the full depth of this. Um, but we found that that actually really worked well and they turned out really good. Um, so we kind of repeated that process with the cabinets and all of the drawers. Okay, quick note with this next one, the hinges, I was able to repurpose all of those and just spray paint those things black. The handles, however, not, not so much. I had to buy all new ones for those. So we just picked up all of the wood for the ceiling and it's a lot. Here's all of it and it's glory. So this is what we picked up for the ceiling. Um, we got a pretty good deal on it. We went to Menards. This is the brand in um, specific detail. So it is like a reversible type of pine. So like this side's more of a flat little raw edge. And then obviously as you can see like this side is a little bit more like a beveled. So we are gonna have the flat side be the, like what you see, just cause we kinda like more of the raw edge. We kinda wanna keep it just cleaner and open on the ceiling. So we got, I think it, this is 18 packs is what we measured out for the entire RV. Um, and we are gonna be doing kind of like, well, well, let me say, my dad's gonna be helping us cause he does flooring, so it's like reverse flooring, but we're basically been doing kind of like some nailing and probably a little bit of like caulking on edges. And um, yeah, that's kind of the process. So we, with this, we did a quick coat of a paint and primer all in one of white. And then we left some boards out intentionally for the bathroom area so that we could just polyurethane those. So with these boards here, we want to sand these. We're gonna put these back on our side outs and there's all these like little nails and we started to try to take them out and they're just like snapping. So we're doing an alternate <laughs> technique here with the oscillating saw um, with this guy. We've got like one of these blades, which it is starting to wear out, but it's definitely taking it out just nice and smooth. And then we'll sand over everything just to kind of get it nice and finished. But it's probably honestly getting all the nails out in like a matter of three minutes. So whatever, it's working. time and we have a 2002 so there's been different updates along the way but sometimes you get things where people decide to literally glue carpet around your TV so fun stuff when I say glue I literally mean like straight-up gluing carpet <laughs> 